Yes. Now this is uh, to show you how I made this Newman machine. This is actually, this little piece of stick, that's a popsicle stick. What I did is I took two ring magnets. Here's one of them. And here's the other one. And then I uh, glued, I just like used some crazy glue and glued uh, one of them on so it was balanced right. And then I glued the other one on and tested it to see if it was balanced. Uh, well, before I glued it on, I put it on there with these spacers, which are actually just, uh, that's nothing more than a popsicle stick piece right here. And uh, I mean, it's a daggone uh, clothespin, half a clothespin. So I put another one on that side, a half a clothespin. And then I adjusted the magnet to get it to, you know, spin really smooth. And then I glued it. And then I put the, uh, just wrap the coil around there. And I put these things in there to space it so that the uh, bearing could uh, roll freely and that it wouldn't be, you know, touching the bearing on the inside of the wire. So, you know, as to uh, be shorting things out or to be uh, hindering the uh, spin of the uh, axle. And that's basically how I built it. So that's all you have to do. Then over here, I replaced the uh, piece of tape so that when it comes up and the wire touches, you move it around and it touches at the right time. And then uh, the coil repels and, and goes around once. It only fires once per revolution on this one. But I know that we can uh, put multiple interlace coils in there and that they will, uh, you know, just even three of them, right? That'll be 120 degrees. So with three coils interlaced within each other and this thing inside of it spinning like this, then we will uh, have the new machine running with all its efficiencies for a 360 de uh, degree cycle. That means all the way around to us laymen. All right, well, thank you, and this concludes uh, this part of the uh, demonstration.